Was anything, does anybody else believe that something was said that they had maybe heard for the first time or maybe didn't have an understanding of, but they understand a little bit better now concerning God's word and how we're to operate? Um, the part about um, people being in certain positions for a reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's a very sobering thought. I want to talk to you children as well. That 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 teacher in your classroom that you don't like during fourth for fourth period, uh, just because they got it in for you, uh, maybe that's what you think. You don't get to pick and choose who you want to obey. You see that you. If they're telling you to do something that's righteous, that's not against God's will, you have to do it. Mom and dad is not the only one that has authority over you all. And unfortunately, today, in today's society, a lot of children feel like, well, some of them feel like the only people they have to listen to is mom and daddy. And of course, mom and daddy sometimes get crazy and want to go down there and cuss teachers out because, you know, but we have to be careful as parents that we don't teach our children to disrespect authority. And that goes for some of you single parents as well, or some of you married parents that think you can teach your child to disrespect the other parent just because you don't like them, or because things didn't work out between y'all. You, you, you know, if you teach them to disrespect one parent, it won't be long before that devil turn on you. And so we have to be careful with that. Yeah, me and mama might not have worked out, or me and daddy might not have worked out, but you still have to obey them and you still have to honor them, you see. So you children in school, I'm sure some of y'all, like I, you know, I had teachers that I, I didn't think very much of at, at times, but I had to understand that they were human, and, and, and if they were in authority, they were in authority. You don't get to pick and choose what authority you obey, other than somebody telling you to do something outside of God's will. Other than that, they tell you to sweep the classroom, you sweep it, or whatever they tell you to do, do it. Because who are you really disobeying if you disobey your teacher? Children. Who are you disobeying if you disobey your teachers? I'm looking for an answer. Who? No. <laughs> who are you disobeying if you disobey authority? God. That's right. So you have to do yield yourselves un to your authority, your teachers, as unto the Lord. And what that means is, if, you, if, the, if the Lord came to your classroom and told Jesus, sweet, you wouldn't argue with him. I hope not. So you shouldn't do that either with the teacher. You know why? Because if you can disobey your teacher and people that you don't think much of, the devil's just got you practicing for later on so you can disobey God with no problem. You understand? So if you can turn down this teacher and say, well, I, don't, I really don't like you. I know you don't really like me, so I'm, not, I'm just going to be rebellious. Really what you're doing is practicing rebellion against God. And that's not God's will. Do y'all understand that? Come on, shake your heads and answer. We'll make sure we get that clear. This word is for y'all too. <laughs> you know why I say that? Because little disobedient children... That can't honor authority. They grow up and become adults. That, that can't honor authority. And, and they, they cuss out cops. And they don't. Folks when they get that way. It's not just when they got grown. They were practicing this high. And mama and daddy never got a hold of them. I can remember. Just, just you will say this and we're close. Uh, I was in Louisiana. I drove from here. Down to Louisiana. Uh, and I was down there riding Louisiana. You know how it is when you, you're so used to driving on the interstate. You're going 70, and then you have to slow down on the back country road doing 55. That's hard to do. But at that time, I just felt like, well, you know, I'm in the country road. Ain't no cars back here, so I'll do 70. And so a cop was coming in the opposite direction. And I, now my thinking was that he can't clock me. But by the time I slowed down, he had clocked me. He had passed me up and then turned around and came back for me. And so he came and he said, uh, I pulled you over because 
you were doing 73 in a 55 mile zone. And I didn't think too much of it, you know, because again, you, you get so used to doing 70, it's hard to do 55. Like, it's just, you feel like you're crawling. Like, I can get out and run faster than this, you know. Especially after you've driven, you know, for 12 hours doing 70. And so he wrote me a ticket and he said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write you a ticket and put on there that you were doing, I think, 68. He said, because if I put more than that, then the fine will be much higher and you can get convicted for reckless driving. You may have to go to court. And I said, well, I appreciate that. I'm sorry about that. And I'll do better. So when I pull off, my kids were mad. They said, well, Daddy, you know why he pulled you over? He pulled you over because you black. <laughs> now, I don't know where they got that from. They didn't get that from me. Maybe I don't know if it was from watching on TV or what. I said, no, he pulled me over because I was breaking the law. Now, see, I had to be careful. I had to teach them a lesson in that. You can't get mad when you do something wrong and then get called on it. So I taught them a lesson. I was breaking the law. I was wrong. I want to, first of all, repent to y'all because I wasn't being a good example. And so when you get old enough to drive vehicles, don't you break the law. And so from that day to this, I made it a point not to, not to speed. Why? Because I understand what God's words say. That those men, they are ministers of God. For evil. And while we may not think much about speeding. There's a whole lot of folks that six feet under that would say different. If they could. You see that? So we have to keep those things in mind. Alright. <laughs> Any other questions or comments before we close? Yes sir. have to think that way you know all power is of God even the power that Satan has it, it is given to him by God and we may think and that that should help our mindset with that yeah God could come back right now he could just snap his finger and the devil will be gone we have no more temptation what well, we think no more problems and things like that but you know God allows the devil to roam because it's there to separate good from evil the same reason why he put the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil in the midst of the garden. It, it, it wasn't to try to tempt you. It was to expose what was on the inside of you to begin with. You see that? And so that's why we have to be subject to those, to those higher, to, to the powers that, that be, that God has ordained. Amen. All right. <clears throat>